Hey everybody, welcome to today's play call where we are going to dissect charts in the crypto markets, in the stock markets, and in the commodities markets. So what I wanna do is get right into the action. We're gonna start on Bitcoin here. Now what you see on Bitcoin is basically you have a chart where the price of Bitcoin has now gone stationary. We've clearly seen that price is stuck between basically 28,500 to 700 and 27,000. Now, the key here is it's making consolidation, but even with the stock market, and this is the key, folks, the stock market's been going up, and this has not. Usually, Bitcoin goes up when the stock market goes up because it's a risk on asset. We haven't been seeing that, so that's a little problematic, but you still have a chance for it to break through this 28,700 level. If it doesn't in the next couple of days, the, the price action is likely going to lead to the downside. So again, I'd say you have a ticking time bomb here. It can either go up in the next three days, if not, look for it to collapse down to 25,000 on the chart of Bitcoin. Let's keep going, guys. Let's get right into it here. I want to show you the NVIDIA chart. I've talked about this one in the past. Take a look at this. In fact, let me zoom out on this chart here real quick. If we look at this chart, it is an amazing chart. We have a trend line here, guys, that goes right through these lows and look at where NVIDIA has gone back to. Now, this was the best performing asset in the markets in 20. Uh, the first quarter of 2022 amongst the large cap S&P names, it was up about 90%. Anytime I think about that, right, we saw window dressing. Remember, funds were, were buying this because they wanted to have it in their portfolio end of quarter last Friday when the quarter ended. That's called window dressing. Usually there's a little bit of a give back now. So I am short NVIDIA with expectations that it likely pulls back to at least $240, maybe lower. And again, that should be a self-explanatory. Look at how extended it is a pullback that should come into play. All right, let's keep going on the charts here. Let's take a look at GE. GE is one of my favorite plays here. I want to show you this chart. It's getting into some major, major resistance. If I zoom out, this is really a remarkable chart here, guys. In fact, let's flip over to the weekly chart. What we can see on the weekly chart is that you have this trend line connecting through the highs. And then I know it's hard to see, but this one is a parallel line right through this top, right through this top, and look at what price is coming up to right around $9,900. $9, what that tells me, folks, is that that is the level to short. Parallels are really, really important. And price, again, on GE has gotten ahead of itself. That means you're going to see a high probability of a pullback on that. Lastly, let's go to natural gas, guys. Let's take a look at natural gas here. As natural gas was under pressure again today, it is getting a small bounce. So again, we are seeing a bounce off of the lows, but in all fairness, it's still getting hammered to the downside. Uh, this is something that I actually am bullish on. I'm bullish on natural gas. Oil, we know OPEC cut production by 1.5 million barrels for the foreseeable multiple month period till end of year. Natural gas has been very, very low around $2. Suppliers will cut back. Drillers will cut back for natural gas production. Eventually that will filter through the market. Again, I'm going to do another video on that in a little while to kind of explain what's going on in the natural gas market. So look out for that. But the bottom line is I am long natural gas. I think again, you buy the pullback here, you buy the collapse. And I know it's so, so low on the chart, we can zoom in a little bit, but this type of price action, it usually leads to a pop. So look for that pop coming on natural gas, guys. Bottom line is, I love you all. Thank you for tuning into the play call. And again, you guys are getting the trades that I am taking. This is what I want to bring to you. Live, actionable, technical analysis that I am getting involved in so that you can be in the know and make money as well. You guys have a wonderful day.